From pages to pixel, I'm surprised more games don't come from books. Hence, here are 5 video games we bet you probably didn't know were originally based on works of literature. First up is Ubisoft's action-adventure stealth video game franchise, Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Creed game series took inspiration from the novel Alamut, written in 1938 by the Slovenian writer Vladimir Bartol. The first Assassin's Creed contains many similar themes such as war, treachery, and deceit. The novel even actually coined the game's motto, Nothing is true, everything is permitted. Bioshock's original first-person shooter, in particular, incorporated the ideas of objectivism, which was primarily outlined in Ayn Rand's 1957 novel, Atlas Shrugged. This is all clearly evident by how Andrew Ryan creates his own city and various plasmids. In regard to artistic influences, Kevin Levine, Bioshock's creative lead, also gained inspirations from 1984 and Logan's Run. The brilliant literary inspirations behind From Software's action RPG Bloodborne come from the game's director Hidetaka Miyazaki, who got it from the legendary horror works of H.P. Lovecraft. Bloodborne fuses in witches, werewolves, and other manners of unearthly Lovecraftian renowned gothic horror elements. For this next one, Polish-British novelist Joseph Conrad's 1899 novel Heart of Darkness serves as the major inspirational premise for Spec Ops The Line. Spec Ops The Line takes things into the near future in sandstorm wrecked Dubai, while Heart of Darkness was set in the Congo in the late 19th century. It's a rather dismaying yet fascinating look at the mental and physical toll on the effects twisted egos can eventually result in. Stalker, the first-person shooter survival horror video game series, was inspired by Arkady and Boris Strugatsky's 1971 Russian sci-fi novel Roadside Picnic. Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, the first game in the series, references many plot points from the novel. The Stalker series borrowed a great deal of elements from the novel to the point of considering it to be a loose adaptation. Though anomalies and artifacts are similar, yet the game version leaves out the part about alien visitors. How is today's game picks list? Perhaps the book titles we've mentioned may even spark an interest for a hand-in-hand -hand collab of gaming and reading, since also summer is coming up. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to Morbium. Till next time, skibby boop boop!